Hello everyone and welcome back again. Uh, this video is for uh, general education department, uh, just for review before the midterm exam, because as you know, midterm exam will be uh, after tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, at uh, Wednesday and Thursday. This video will be just for review for all subjects uh, included in the midterm exam. So we already uh, we have already explained this uh, uh, like example in the classroom. But I want just for review to start created in this video. So step by step, I will create it, and uh, I hope you try to follow me and try to also implement it in your computers. So first of all, I need to create the the this table here, like this table. You can just copy paste it here, so you can create it from zero here. Yeah. So now we have name. Just by click shift and the name and the letter, so we can make it uh, capital. Then here midterm exam, and you can just open the bracket and say from 35, for example. Just example. Then here quiz, and also open the brackets and say this from five. So now I can. Add some numbers so with the sequence you can just say one and two and then just drag if you have many numbers or you can just write it by yourself but I prefer just to drag here and the name said you can write the same names or you can write just any name depending on the question I don't need to waste the time here then for the numbers I will write the same numbers or you can write any numbers also no problem for that but same thing uh, average uh, sum and average and max and result and not yeah we do not need anything here so now I finish the table I d I started with the content of the table not with the design of the table so after finish the content of the table because the design is not very important thing so we need just to write the table even if you if you if you have a problem with design you can just try start answer the questions here this is the important but now I can just make a design the first thing I can add here. I can uh, go to the uh, border, the first thing I can add border to make it like a table, look like a table uh, Then here I can make it in the middle, in the middle here as well Here you can see I can just need to make it bigger here from the row So I can just drag from the row from here uh, For the midterm here I will make it in this way So just like this here if you want to make uh, 35 at that end, so I can just say here wrap text. So now it is working like I want. Same thing for the quiz here. You can make it in this way. Same thing for the final number of options. So you can just select both of them and then just go to the make it in this way here. Uh, Some on the average, uh, we don't need it. Then what we have else. Here we have practical exam for the midterm quiz final. So for the midterm, I can just select midterm quiz final here. Practical exam. So I need to make three cells to make it just one cell. So here we need to merge those cells. So just select the cells and then go to the merge here. So now I merge the cells. Same thing here for the class A from max until the end. I need to make it also one cell. So I can just select. Or selected like this as you like but I need just this and then marriage as well after that I can add uh, border here and border for this so it will look like uh, a table then I can just make it like this and then I can say practical exam in any way and here I can of course I can make it in the middle this way and here I can say like class A just write class A, class A, and then just make it in the middle. Now I can just uh, change the size of the uh, text. So I can select all the table and just change the size of the text like this here. You can make it uh, bold. Here, if you need, you can just make it like this. So now I finish the design of the table. That is, this is the question. I don't need to write the question. Now here, we need to answer the questions. And this is the most important thing in the in the question here so the first thing the final final equal what just go to the questions here hence 
final equal midterm plus quiz. So this is very easy. Just we need to write a formula for that. So we need we said the formula started with the equal. Then what midterm plus quiz. So we just midterm here. Go to the number, not go to here. So midterm plus a quiz. Quiz is here. That's enter and then just autofill. Go here. Go to this and then drag for all for autofill. That is now I finished. Not write a number, so I can just click here and they will see here I have the formula. We need to write the formula. Now here for the sum, sum equal what? We don't need to write the, the function sum here. Just go to the question. Question equal what? Final sum equal final minus number of absence. So equal formula final here minus number of absence. So just to click on this and this and that is minus number of absence and then just a drag for all. That is finished. Now, average equal what? Sum divided by 2. So, also you can just equal. Where is sum? We already have sum. Divided by 2. That is the same thing. Just write it in this way and then a drag for others. Max, we don't have anything about max. So, you can let it. Uh, result equal what? Result equal C here. Student pass if sum greater than or equal 25. So, I say if here. So, I need to use if function. So if the uh, sum sum here in the question greater than or equal 25, I need to write pass, student pass. Otherwise, write fail, for example. So you can understand it in this way. So here for the result, I just write equal, use if function, open the bracket. You say if function, if you forget, you have three parts here. Just write if, open the bracket. You will see here we have logical test. Logical test is what? Is contain greater than, we say logical test always should contain uh, logic uh, greater than uh, less than equal something like that so in the question where sum greater than 25 so this is the logical test so sum greater than or equal 25 then finish come on value of it true if this is true if greater than or equal 25 which means pass so here i can add between double quotation marks pass otherwise another comma value if false if it is not true i need to write fail for example and this way we can make it you just need to understand the question here or another way you can do it in another way from here we said in this way we need a function so just go to the if function here after that a function is what the first thing we have logical test logical test we say sum greater than or equal 25 so here go to the sum and say greater than or equal uh, 25 now, value of it true. If it is true, we need to do what? We need to write pass. So here, just write pass. Otherwise, fail. That's just like this and OK. And then you can just drag for others. Now, finish that. Now, for the note is what? We just written back here. We said what? For the note, type congratulations. If the midterm greater than or equal 11, just. If the midterm here, Greater than or equal 11, greater than or equal 11, type congratulation. Just so here we need to use first a function. So for the not, you can also you can go here or you can write by yourself. So you can go to the a function if you cannot find it, just write here if and then go. So you can find a function, double click. Now we said what if the if the midterm here greater than or equal 11, type here congratulation. So just write. Contra, I don't know, I think it's not correct. Otherwise, you can write like anything, or you can let it empty, or you can write like, uh, like hard luck. Anything you want, then okay. And now we can see all of them congratulations because all of them greater than uh, 11. So, in this way, you need just to write the function. This is the important thing here. Now we can see the other questions here. Add another column between average and max. So I need to add another column. Also, this very easy question. Just go. I need to another add another column between average and max. So just go here. Where is average? This average column vertically. This column. So I need to add between average and max. Between this and this. So just go to the max. Right click. Insert. That is. I add another column. I didn't write anything inside. Another question here is. Add row between sequence 2 and 3. So between here, sequence 2 and 3, I need to add another row. So also same thing here. 
between row is horizontally so between two and the three here I can just go to the three with the header then right click and insert now I add another row. now I'll finish the all the questions here this uh, everything we explained almost everything but of course when we have many other things like uh, for example if I need total of those here in the question if I need total here total of average here so I can just go to the auto sum sum function and just select everything here that is this total if I need average I can just go here and sum average I have average and then I can select also everything here and enter if I need max min everything just you can find it here count for numbers count a for letters for example if I need here count but here not numbers here we have letter so we can use count a and then we can just select the something like that if we have another thing here for example if I add like uh, so if I need here like uh, sum plus here I need sum plus tax so here as you can see here sum plus tax here we can see some we have many cells here but the tax only one we said if you have many cells with the one cell in the formula we need to use the we need to use the absolute reference which means to add dollar sign so here I can say like this sum to equal where sum sum here the first one then the plus plus what plus tax tax here five percent now now if I drag here if I say it now it's co go, uh, correct for the first one but if I drag here it will be not correct because you can see here this with this this thing here because we drag relative reference uh, K16 uh, become K17 and K17 is empty nothing here so we need to do what here as I said because we have only one hill uh, here with the multiple so you can just press F4 in the keyboard F4 or just add dollar sign if you have a laptop uh, press Fn plus F4 for the laptop in the computer just F4 and then like this and now everything will be correct that is this everything uh, for VLOOKUP we explained that uh, many times but for example if I need here I have I need to write the name here and we have I need to I need to find the mark so here equal just write VLOOKUP always look up value should be at the first column so here look up value so I need to write something here so click here this is the look up value look up value should be at the first column so the name is already at the first column so here we can see the first thing look up value if you forget you can just see the note here then come on table array so I need the table so just select the table all the table then come on we have what column index number so I need the mark mark in which number here one two three or sorry one two here because this is the mark here in the table the second column so just write two and then last thing zero for exact value and just like this here for example a little bit different if I write the look up again Look up value is what is G uh, 8 because I need here the mark so G 8 you can write it by yourself then table array we say the look up value here the first value should be at the first column so the mark not at the first column so we can select the table from the mark here so now mark at the first column now here we need result result we started from mark it's the one two also second one and then zero and now everything will be correct just in this way for the v lookup so i hope i explained everything in this short video maybe because this video i just try to mm, uh, summarize all the subjects all the uh, topics included in the midterm exam for the excel hope you understand that and thank you very much